What is going on YouTube? Kronos here and welcome back to another Tower of Fantasy video. So today we'll be going over the recent changes that we got in the patch notes on the 26th of August. First off, if you guys are new to the channel, my name is Kronos. I primarily cover usually PSO2, but also started covering Tower of Fantasy as well. Cover so many other games actually on top of that too. I'm not going to go into that. But if you guys are looking to keep up with Tower of Fantasy news, toss a like on the video, subscribe to the channel, keep up with what's going on. It does help out a ton. Anyway, let's go ahead and jump into this. So, man, today's a rough day for me. I'll be honest with you guys. Got woken up to something going on in a completely different game, and the patch notes are here. And let me tell you, these patch notes, kind of rough. I mean, they're good, don't get me wrong. But for me specifically, a little rough. Let's go ahead and talk about the patch notes. So hold on just a sec. So here we are on the Tower Fantasy official global site. I'll leave a link in the video description to these patch notes. They're not always the easiest to find. It took me a moment to actually pull this up myself. But either way, so dear Wanderers, thank you for your support. As always, please check the patch notes for below for today's maintenance. Thank you for your understanding and patience. I'm going to give you guys a few just quick bullet points. I'm sure some people don't really want to sit here for the full eight minutes to make sure the video gets monetized properly. But let's go ahead and jump through these probably fairly quickly. Uh, Free, uh, Freeg was added in the simulacrum character and her weapon as well. So you guys can actually see those in game as long as you've updated the game. If you were currently logged into the game overnight or anything like that, make sure you close out of it completely. So you go ahead and get the update once you get to like, you know, the launcher itself. It'll go ahead and update and get that taken care of for you. If you don't do that and you were logged into the game and you just relaunch the game itself, you actually won't have the update. So you won't see the character in case it does happen for you. It looks like we'll have the Road of Strife event and the resources that come with it will be going live as well. This all seems to be that's coming up on the first and they fixed a couple of bugs. So I fixed an issue description where item crystal shown is incorrect way to obtain it. OK, so not really too crazy there. Fix an issue where the event token shown in the executor training event page is inconsistent in the name of the actual token. So they just updated some UI stuff here. I think too crazy here. Um, I mean, like there's a couple things here. They fixed the UI thing with the number pad nine. So it doesn't say 10 percent off anymore. I thought that was kind of funny personally, but, you know, it's gone now. Um, some QR code issues, the newcomer event where login counter displayed errors were happening. The animal hairpin, the summer sea breeze event uh, worn by male characters were displayed incorrectly. Um, I'm trying to think of what the bigger things are. Yeah, here's a here's the one that kind of is a little bit of a punch to the gut. Uh, fix an issue where there's a chance of no endurance used <laughs> required when jetpack is used alongside of Thunderblade's skill spiral dive under certain circumstances. Well, let me just be very blunt. There was no chance. Is that like there, there's a chance that this happens? It was it just didn't happen. If you played Crow, you know, if you jumped, pressed the jetpack button and then dived, you would not use any endurance whatsoever. I was going to make a video talking about it. A lot of people did. But realistically speaking, I figured that this was going to end up getting patched and fixed primarily because it doesn't work on the CN version, meaning the CN version already got this patch. Likely, this is just a remnant of like us getting some version of the uh, of the 1.0 client. So it still had this bug and they had to make the adjustment to get it fixed. So unfortunately, those of you guys who are all hyped about Crow, everyone who made videos about Crow talk about him being so overpowered because of this bug. Um, this is why I mentioned to pay attention uh, you know, to individual changes that do happen. Not everything that CN has is going to be brought over to global, but usually bug fixes are. And uh, this is one of those ones that did get fixed over CN. So it was only a matter of time before it got fixed on global since it does affect PVP as well as some PVE elements. Because yes, you could crow dive people in PVP and you could absolutely obliterate them once you broke their shields. Um, compensation, we get basically 400 dark crystals. So nothing too crazy there. And the compensa compensation eligibility only happens for players who reach level six by the 27th. So you do have to at least be level six. Basically, you have to start playing the game um, or you won't be able to get the compensation. So make sure you're playing. You actually get the stuff. Super cool. Um, I'm actually going to pop back over to in game because there is one other thing that I want to mention from uh, from patch notes. So here we are in game. Of course, they show the patch notes here as well. So in case you're someone who's like, I just get patch notes from in game. Here you go. You can just get them from in game. No big deal. No big deal. But Here's something else they mentioned. So, dear Wanderers, due to our mistake, Nemesis Limited Order was offline unexpectedly on August 22nd, 2022. Now, the, we, although we gave, even though we gave our first rounds of compensation, reissued black or uh, flame golds over clocking chips to say that we would start the deduction of black golds and base chips as part of a solution plan. However, based on the decision, we realized, hold on, before I go into that. So basically, a lot of people have been saying, like, you know, they thought this was going to happen. No, this, they literally reported that this is what they were going to do. They were going to reduce the black flames by the flame golds that they gave you, or the black golds by the flame golds that they gave you to reverse the entire process. Now, on stream, I talked about this. I was going to make a video talking about this as well, but 
guys, I just get really busy. Um, so unfortunately, sometimes videos just don't come out. But the long story short is I talked about this and mentioned that, hey, while this is completely fair, it makes perfect sense. Um, it's fair both to the player and to the company. You have to keep in mind that this is also a situation where they're reversing something to not lose out on money because you spend money to get these things or you spend resources to get them. So it's also fair for the company as well. They're not paying out of pocket for this. Um, it was fair on both ends. However, I personally believe that they could use this as, you know, a situation where they can make this a win for them. And a lot of people don't trust the company that actually manages or that um, supports the game for other practices in the past. And then building up goodwill is definitely a good thing to do very early on in a game. Um, sometimes companies leverage that goodwill, so you have to be a bit careful, but building up that goodwill is definitely useful. Now, going forward, I said, you know, the best change in this situation would be to revert it not to take away those black golds from players and then the players that didn't log in at the time frame that was available to then add those flame or add those black golds based on the flame golds that they had now what this would do would be it would create a situation where players who logged in early weren't punished and players who didn't log in early enough weren't punished basically the mistake that the company made doesn't punish either side of the player base. Granted, it does have a bit of a hit to the company as far as profits are concerned because they're basically handing out a bunch of black golds and uh, essentially they're basically handing out a bunch of black golds to players because it's almost like a free SSR at that point. It's almost like an SSR selector box, which realistically speaking, it might be easier just to hand out an SSR selector box to fix the issue outside of this because everyone has different amounts. So. Realistic speaking, it'd be much more difficult to figure out everything for everybody, but that's besides the point. What they have decided to go with something a bit different. So kind of half of what I said. So according to our stats, we are according to our stats, we believe that the deduction of black gold slash base chips will create a negative user experience for the majority of the wanders. That's what I said immediately as like, yes, this was their mistake. Yes, it would be fair, but it would be a negative sort of experience overall. Like it doesn't feel good. And that is important. It was our responsibility that the event went offline. We don't want to further impact the user's experience by deducting the black gold slash base chips. This, it makes perfect sense. Realistically speaking, if you logged in, you had no way of knowing they were going to reduce it until they told everyone they were going to reduce it. Now, if people did it afterwards, that's a different situation. However, they didn't. They did it before they knew and people were up in arms about, oh God, all these people who did this ahead of time are stupid because they didn't know. I saved mine because I figured this was gonna happen. Yeah, you made the right call, but you bait it baselessly. I mean, granted, apparently this has happened in the past, so I can't speak to that specifically, but this is global. These are global players. Not everyone has played CN. We cannot base those things on what people have done on CN. You have to base it on what people are experiencing right now. And realistically speaking, they wouldn't have known. So punishing the player for not knowing of the situation itself, because it's a video game, not real life. So people making the comparison of like, not knowing the law is the stupidest comparison I've ever seen, honestly. Like, I apologize, that seems a bit aggressive, but it's it's ridiculous that I've seen people make this comparison. But people made the comparison of, well, just because you don't know doesn't mean you're not liable. That's dumb. This is a video game. It's a free to play video game. You should not have to feel bad about someone else making a mistake for you. Like, it's silly. But that's besides the point. Regardless, it's a situation that it creates for the player that they just didn't know, right? Now they know. Now we know ahead of time. We know about these situations. We know that this is a possibility. Maybe we shouldn't spend this just in case they decide to take these back if they ever make that mistake again. Now the player is aware because this has happened, right? Regardless speaking, they have now decided to not deduct them. Thus, we've decided to not deduct the black gold and base chips as part of the solution for an issue that was created by us and in hopes to not further negatively impact user experiences. If you have any uncollected items in your mail, please remember to collect them timely. Additionally, please rest assured that we are working on continuously and, diligent, or continuously and diligently to prevent a similar issue from happening again in the future. That safely, or that the safety of your assets and in-game balance has always been a priority of ours. Sincerely apology for any inconvenience that, were cre that was created and thank you once again for your understanding and support to our fantasy team. So this is almost the perfect resolution. This is very close to it because now they've technically created an imbalance. Now the players who didn't log in early enough to get a hold of that black gold actually have now missed out. So while it's good, they haven't created a negative experience for the players who did log in early and made that mistake without information being provided to them. They've now created a situation where there's an imbalance to players who did not log in enough early enough to find this situation happening. Granted, I'm one of these players. It does suck because now I don't get access to these things ahead of time. However, it's not totally unfair. It's just a bit more fair for the players that logged in early. 
Um, well, I guess technically it is unfair between players, but it's not unfair between us and the company itself, right? They made a mistake, they reversed it. We're still kind of on even playing field, right? Because we didn't mess with anything. Now the players that logged in early are at a bit of an advantage. So technically speaking, this is almost the correct situation, the correct solution. I think this is better than the solution that they, they originally proposed because now the player as a positive, it's like a net one for the player. But the fact that the other players who didn't log in are still at kind of an even zero does mean that now there are players that have a net positive versus the other players, which I think is still technically a bad thing right now. You're now you're basically punished for not logging in early enough. So hopefully they look into this. Hopefully players are talking about this. They see these sorts of things and they look at either you know fixing it now or fixing it in the future. We'll have to see how these things work out. But guys, that's all I really have for you guys today. Um, let me know what you guys think about this in the comments below. Remember, be respectful of one another. Like if you enjoyed the video, subscribe if you want to keep up with more, and I'll see you next time. Take care. Peace out.